Hola, my name is Nicole Pacateque. I am currently a senior at Syracuse University and I am the president of the Puerto Rican Student Association. Hola, I'm Adriana Lobo and I'm a junior at Syracuse University. I am currently the philanthropy chair of the Puerto Rican Student Association. Hello everyone, my name is Andrea Arce Vasquez, a third year student at Syracuse University and I'm currently the Vice President of PRSA, Puerto Rican Student Association. Hola, my name is Cristian Andino Borrero. I'm from Carolina, Puerto Rico. I'm a fourth year student at Syracuse University, and I'm the Communications and Outreach Chair for the Puerto Rican Student Association. Hello, my name is Jay Rodriguez, and I'm a senior here at Syracuse University. I'm also the Secretary for the Puerto Rican Student Association. My name is Jillian Arroyo Mark. I'm currently a junior at Syracuse University. I'm the treasurer of the Puerto Rican Student Association. Hi everyone, my name is Jamie Ramos. I'm a fourth year graduate student at Syracuse University. I am currently the social media and graphic design chair at PRSA. And I had the pleasure of illustrating my colleagues' grandmothers for this Abuelitas exhibition. I am beyond honored to be presenting Mi Abuela, Felicia Andino Archaga, who was born in Las Flores, Honduras on September 15, 1950. Mi Abuela cannot ever be still because she's always doing something around the house. So if you're going to help, it better be fast. If not, you better step to the side because she is mighty even if she's tiny. Sometimes too much for her own well-being. She's also very piquetera, which in Honduran slang means she is very meticulous about her appearance. Very. However, she has a very big and generous heart. Many of our family members see her as a mother because she took them in along with her own five children, who she brought up on her own with her own business. I love you, abuela. I'm going to first start talking about my first abuela. Her name is Lydia Roman Santiago. She was born in Santorce, Puerto Rico, and was raised in Bayamón, Puerto Rico. When I was little, I used to call her Abuelita Lydia. However, I would hear other people, and by other people I mean just my mom and my aunt, call her mommy, which is really interesting for me. So now that's the way I've been calling her since. Mami is one of the people who have unconsciously influenced me the most. Throughout my childhood, I would say that she was kind of the creator of most of my insecurities about my appearance and body image. Nonetheless, because of her, I have found the passion for many things like dancing, makeup, clothing, photography, modeling, even fashion in general. Even though our tastes are fundamentally different, she's responsible for waking up those desires in me. I admire her for being the strong woman that she is. She may have a horrible temper and zero patience, but she has a beautiful and kind heart. Now my second abuelita, Pucha Gracia. Her name is Livia, but everybody knows her by Pucha. She was born also in Santurce, but she doesn't claim that she's just from Ponce. She always says, Ponce is Ponce, and the rest is parking lot. If you're Puerto Rican, <laughs> you understand that reference. Well, we may not be blood related, but she's the best abuela I could have ever asked for. She, as my step-grandmother nonetheless, I've always seen her as my real, whatever real means, grandmother, because she has always been being part of my life since I can remember. She's the most alcahueta and the sweetest person I've ever known. Oh, but you don't want to be her enemy. If you rub her the wrong way, it's over. Even though I used to fight with her the most, I can guarantee you I'm also the grandkid that she loves the most. She's always thinking of me. My grandmother's name is Rosa Borrero Glass, and she's from Santo Domingo, 
República Dominicana, the Dominican Republic. Mami, my older sister Rosemary, my younger sister Liz Marie and I brought Abuela a cake for her birthday. Every year, I ask her how old she is, to which she replies, one does not ask a lady her age. And honestly, I'm being honest here, I genuinely have never known her age. Like, I only know she has passed 70. <laughs> and then she always proceeds to blame us after we give her the cake for breaking her diet. But when we offer to take the cake with us, she keeps the cake. <laughs> she keeps the cake. <laughs> Even on her birthday, she would sometimes give us a little money. And she also paid for about half of my education in elementary school. She's a real one, though she has problematic views on Haitians. My second grandmother, her name is Filalina Alvarez Morales. She's from Patillas, Puerto Rico. But she raised her family in Trujillo Alto, Puerto Rico. Papi would take me every other Saturday to the mountains of Trujillo Alto to visit Abuela Fide. My father always called her vieja, old woman, which I would never do. <laughs> She walked really slowly and had yogurt that helped her with her constipation, which she reminded me of whenever I would eat them. <laughs> she also frowned at my father a lot and would prick him whenever he would make fun of her saggy chest. I know, he was so rude. <laughs> we always brought her mofongo, mashed plantains. She's also a real one, though one time she did warn me that I better not be the one receiving. <laughs> you gotta love her. I will be talking today about my two grandmothers, Miriam Santiago and Elba Bonilla. Abuela Miriam, also known as Moncita, was the glue that held my Ramos family together. She and my grandfather started our family as immigrants in New York. They met at the airport, exchanged addresses, and my grandfather would visit my grandma in Ponce, coming all the way from Rincón. They had my two oldest uncles and my dad in New York, my aunt, was born in Puerto Rico. Abuela was the one with the greatest recipes and the most contagious laughter. Every holiday, we would go to Abuela's for her cooking and family reunions. She was diagnosed with cancer twice. Sadly, the second time led to de her deterioration. I am so proud to be my grandmother's grandchild. She was caring, emotional, loving, and the sweetest friend. She wasn't always like this towards her grandchildren. She was raised Catholic with very strict visions of life and behaviors of how they should be. Yet with time with my, her grandchildren, she acknowledged the differences in times and generations. She asked without prejudice and was willing to learn. Although we didn't always see eye to eye, I can say I trusted her very much. My last memory with her will forever hold a dear place in my heart. She told me it's time to go. I responded, but I don't want to go. With tears in my eyes, she held my hand, but it's time to go. I flew out to Syracuse the next day, and a week later, she passed. Abuela Miriam passed August 27, 2019. Abuela Elba, on the other hand, was a Spanish teacher and mother of three from Aguada, Puerto Rico. With my grandfather, she raised my mother and her two brothers in Levitown, Tabaja, Puerto Rico. She was a strong, respected, and kind woman. Sadly, I only witnessed glimpses of these through my mother. She inherited many of her attributes, given they were the only two women in the house. My grandmother was diagnosed with Alzheimer's shortly after my grandfather's passing 19 years ago, meaning I grew up seeing her deteriorate before my eyes. I was taught to take care of her, not the other way around. I have very few memories where she was fully aware of time and space. She really enjoyed crossword puzzles and singing numbers out loud. Shortly before Abuela Elba passed, she could barely speak, eat, or walk. She had been hospitalized numerous times in 2009, one of those being of 42 days. My grandmother was in bed, and as I walked in to visit her, I approached her, kissed her cheek, and said, Bendición, as we would often do. Softly and barely even noticeable, with her eyes closed, she replied, Dios te bendiga. That is my last memory of her. She passed September 6, 2009. 
exactly one month before my 14th birthday. My paternal grandmother's name is Carmen Dolores Rodriguez Cruz, and she's from Maunabo, Puerto Rico. I am her first grandchild, and I'll forever be grateful for the special bond that I've been able to experience with her. She's also instilled in me the values of kindness and helping others. In her words, una taza de café no se la niega nadie, nene. She is most definitely the life of any party, and with her new knee replacement, she will dance to any music, especially merengue. If you want trouble with Abuela, all you have to do is not finish eating every crumb of the mountain of rice, chicharrone, guineo, and anything else that she can fit onto one plate. My maternal grandmother's name is Marta Reyes Mejia, and she's from San Pedro Sula, Cortez, Honduras. Mama Marta is my biological great-grandmother. Her role as a single mother of six children was anything except easy. She made money by selling candies in the streets of Honduras, sold my grandfather's school uniform together using pieces of potato sacks and fabric, and lived in a shanty house tied together with wood and metal scraps. She also made paliadas, which are Honduran flour tortillas filled with beans and cheese, among other things, which I was lucky enough to have enjoyed during my weekend visits as a child. Nowadays, she reserves her weekends for trips to my cafe, eating her favorite fajitas at Chili's, and beating everyone at bingo. Do not expect to find Mama Marta being seen without her iconic, colorful flower dresses. My first grandmother's name is Ina Cabenda, and she's from Aruba. Although I don't see this grandmother often, I know she's always ready for a good time and will do anything to spend time with her family. And for my late grandmother, Rosa Arroyo, originally from Puerto Rico, my favorite memory of her was on a hot summer afternoon when the garbage men arrived and she came outside with food and lemonade to thank them for their help. Both of these women have taught me everything I know. Uh, my grandmother's name is Ma Maria Carmenza Gomez. Everyone calls her Carmenza, but I call her my Awe. Uh, she has taught me that whenever there's music that I should dance. She has always been a dancer, from family parties to any place that has any music playing. And as a kid, this used to make me laugh. I thought it was really funny, but now that I'm older, I see her dancing and being so happy every day that I want to live like her. The more time I spend with her, the more I understand how similar we are, and I even look more like her than I do like my mom. And the video that I actually uploaded was taken in December 2019. I surprised her in Colombia after not seeing her for almost five or six years. And she is one of the most important people in, most important people in my life. She is genuinely a contemporary woman for her generation. And I'm so proud because learning from a strong woman that she is will hopefully make me and help me become my own. Te amo, mami. She's always thinking of me and has always taken care of me. Te amo, Titi Pucha. My grandmother was truly a mother to everyone she came across, whether that be her own child or her neighbor. I know she's always ready for a good time and will do anything to spend time with her family. She was born a while ago in Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic, but has lived in Puerto Rico for over five decades. Once, Abuela Fide told my oldest sister, I know my grandson is gay, and if anyone in the family has a problem with that, they'll just have to deal with it. Abuela and I became really close in the last few years. I think it's because only when we come to age we understand the value of heritage, respect, and acknowledgement for those that brought you into this world. My mom is the strongest person I know, since she was the primary and sole caregiver of my grandmother. I don't doubt that Abuela Elba had influence in her character. She is the definition of a go-getter and makes sure everyone is good. I love her very much and admire many of her attributes because I wouldn't be the person I am today without her. She really inspires me to study and be as happy as I can be every single day. Abuela Carmen is without a doubt the glue of my father's side of the family, a human embodiment of resilience. 